Inventory. Inventory is defined as tangible personal property. Number one, held for sale in the ordinary course of business. Number two, in the process of production for sale. Or number three, to be used currently in the production of items for sale. So inventory, for example, on number one, inventory is held for sale in the ordinary course of business. So for example, the business entity is Ford Motors Company. And Ford, Ford Motor is an automaker company, producer of cars, SUVs, and trucks. So its, its cars, SUVs, and trucks for sale are considered as inventory of Ford Motors company. Number two, in the process of production for such sale, so for example, again, the entity is Ford Motor Company and it's an automaker company. The steel, aluminum, plastics, and rubber currently in the production process of Ford Motor for the production of cars, SUVs, and car and trucks are considered as inventory. And number three, to be used currently in the production of items for sale. So for example, again, the entity is an automaker company. Let's say Ford Motor again. And the stocks of unused steel, aluminum, plastics, and rubber currently in Ford Motors warehouse to be used in the production process are considered also as inventory by that entity. Determining inventory and cost of goods sold. Number one, the primary basis of accounting for inventories is cost, which includes the cash or other fair value of consideration given in exchange for it. Number two, the units to be included in inventory are those which the firm owns. Ownership is usually determined by the legal title. Number three, the cost to be included in inventory include all costs necessary to prepare the goods for sale. Normal costs for freight in, handling costs, and normal spoilage are included in inventory. So any freight in, handling costs, and normal spoilage is considered as cost of inventory. Number four, any abnormal cost for freight in, handling cost, and spoilage are treated as current period expense and not allocated to inventory. Remember that normal costs are only included in cost of inventory. Any abnormal costs are not allocated to inventory and treated as current period expenses. Number five, interest on inventories routinely produced or repetitively produced in large quantities is not capitalized as part of inventory cost. So interest is not part of inventory cost. For a merchandising concern, the cost to be included in inventory include the purchase price of the goods, freight in, insurance, warehousing, and other costs incurred in the preparation of these goods for sale. Take note that the cost of freight in, insurance, warehousing, and other costs must be normal to be part, to become part of cost of inventory. Okay, we have two sample problems here. So let's proceed to example number one. On December 15, 2019, Guillaume May purchased goods costing $100,000. $100, the terms were FOB shipping point. The goods were received on December 17, 2019. Costs incurred by Guillaume May in connection with the purchase and delivery of the goods were as follows. We have the normal freight charges at $3,000, handling cost $2,000, insurance and shipment $500, and abnormal freight charges for express shipping amounting $1,200. The question is, what is the amount of inventory? And number two, what is the amount of current period expense? <clears throat> okay. 
the problem indicated a shipping term which is FOB shipping point. And as mentioned earlier, the units to be included are those inventories which the firm owns. And we have a shipping term here, FOB shipping point. Let's recall first what this term is all about. Okay, we have an illustration here. So we have the seller, we have the buyer, and the common carrier. Common carrier is the party in charge of transporting goods from seller to buyer. And in this illustration, the common carrier is currently delivering the goods of seller to the buyer. The problem is, currently this go these goods are in transit and since it is in transit, we have to determine which or who is the owner of the goods in transit. We can determine the owner of the goods in transit based on the freight terms. If the term is FOB destination, the owner of goods in transit is still the seller. And if the, ter if the term is FOB shipping point, the owner of the goods in transit is buyer. So, based on the problem, FOB shipping point, the owner of the goods is still the buyer. The owner of the goods in transit is the buyer, which is Giomei. So, the goods in transit is already owned by Giomei, and the goods were received on December 17, 2019. And costs incurred by Giomei in connection with the, with the purchase are normal freight charges, handling costs, insurance on shipment, and abnormal freight charges. Let's determine the cost of inventory or the amount of inventory. Okay, let's compute the cost of inventory. First, we have to determine the purchase price and the goods were received on December 17, 2019. Since, since it is received December 2019, Giomei already owned the goods. So the purchase price now is considered as part of inventory. Purchase price is $100,000. Okay. Let's proceed to the co other costs incurred by Giomei in connection with the purchase. Normal freight charges. Okay. Normal freight charges are part of cost of inventory normal freight charges three thousand dollars handling costs are handling costs part of inventory okay no indication whether the handling cost is normal or abnormal but on this problem the handling cost is presumed normal. So we will include the handling cost as part of cost of inventory. $2,000. Insurance on shipment. No indication again whether it is normal or abnormal cost. And again, it is presumed normal cost. So we will include the insurance as part of cost of inventory $500 and last abnormal freight charges abnormal cost are not part of cost of inventory it is treated as current period expense so we will not include the 1200 as part of inventory cost therefore the amount of inventory is $100,000 plus $3,000 plus $2,000 plus $500 equals $105,500. So this is the amount of inventory. This is the cost of inventory purchased by Giomei on December 15, 2019. Next question, what is the amount of current period expense? So let's 
go back to the other costs incurred by Giome. So, the normal freight charges is normal. Handling costs, normal. Insurance on shipment is normal as we mentioned here in our computation. Abnormal freight charges for express shipping is considered as abnormal cost. And what is the amount of current period expense? The answer is $1,200. Dollars. What is the amount of inventory? The amount is 105,500 dollars. Example number two. The following information pertain to Sanemi Corporation for the year. We have the purchases amounting 102,800 dollars. Purchase discounts 10,280. Freight in 15,420. Freight out 5,140. Beginning inventory of 30,840. And ending inventory amounting $20,560. The question is what amount should Sanemi report as cost of goods sold for the year? Okay. The problem mentioned the term cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold or Cost of sale is the total cost used to create a product or service which have been sold. So, for example, you purchase an item amounting $10 and you sold the said item for $20. Therefore, the cost of goods sold is the, purchase, is the cost of the item you purchase which is $10. So the question is, we have to determine the cost of goods sold for the year of Sanemi based on the facts given. To compute the cost of goods sold of Sanemi, we have to consider the formula to compute the cost of goods sold. The formula to compute the cost of goods sold or the cost of sales is, we have first determined the, the beginning inventory. And... We will consider the purchases, the purchase returns, the purchase allowances, and purchase discounts to determine the net cost of purchases. We will also include the freight in in determining the, in determining the cost of goods sold. Normal freight in, as we mentioned earlier, are part or is part of the cost of inventory. So, Freight in are considered in computing the cost of goods sold. Beginning inventory plus the purchases minus the purchase returns minus the purchase allowances minus the purchase discount plus freight in, we will determine the total goods available for sale of the entity. And to determine the cost of goods sold or the cost of sales, we will deduct the ending inventory to the, to the total goods available for sale. So the difference between the total goods available for sale and the ending inventory is deemed cost of goods sold or cost of sales. The total amount of purchases less the purchases returns less the purchase allowances and purchase discount is the net cost of purchases. And to determine the total cost of purchases we have to determine first the net cost of purchases and we will add the freight in to determine the total cost of purchases. Based on the facts given in the problem and considering the formula to compute the cost of goods sold, we can answer now the question relating to this problem. What is the amount of cost of goods sold? Okay, we will consider the formula to, deter to determine the cost of sales. First is the beginning inventory of the entity. The, be the beginning inventory here is $30,840. $30,840. Then we will add the amount of Purchases. So, purchases amounting 
102,800 dollars. 102,800 dollars. Next, purchase returns. No, no given available for the purchase returns. Purchase allowances, no given also. Purchase discount. Do we have purchase discounts here? So here, the amount of purchase discounts is 10,280 dollars. Purchase discounts. $10,280 and purchase discount is deducted to the total amount of purchases. Less than less $10,280. Next is freight in. Freight in $15,400. $15,420. We can determine now the total goods available for sale. Total goods available for sale. $30,845. Minus $10,280 minus $15,420. The total goods available for sale is $138,780. And last, the ending inventory. The ending inventory is $20,560. We will deduct the ending inventory to the total goods available for sale to determine the cost of goods sold. The ending inventory is $20,560. Therefore, the cost of goods sold or the cost of sales of Sanimi would be $138,780 minus $20,560 equals one hundred eighteen thousand two hundred twenty dollars. So the amount, what amount should Sanimi report as cost of goods sold for the year? The answer is one hundred eighteen thousand two hundred twenty dollars. All facts in the problem are considered except. Freight out. Okay, freight out are not included as part of cost of goods sold. It is a selling expense. And selling expenses are not part of cost of goods sold. So, freight out is not considered as part of cost of sales of Sanimi.